What got you from the throw up stage to the grow up stage? What was the trigger? Survival. I had no choice but to figure it out and slowly but surely I figured out all the basics of business that in my world or I think in most people's businesses, 80% of management's hiring the right people in the first place. And the irony to that is I ask, I, you know, I'll do a class with 100 people. How many have had a class in uh, hiring? Like one hand goes up, if any hand goes up. The most basic, important thing in business they don't teach in college, I don't believe in most cases. So hiring is critical and then figuring out the whole management piece. Well, let's talk about it. How do you hire the right people? Do, do you do interviews yourself? Um, I'm the last one to interview. What I've learned is about myself and about most entrepreneurs, the entrepreneur by definition is probably the worst person to be doing the interviewing. Now you'd think, well wait, it's their business. They should care more about it. They should, be, they should know what they need better. But, but think about it. What do most entrepreneurs have in common that are successful? They like people. Kind of hard to be in business and not, you know, f like people. When you're interviewing, you need to be skeptical, guilty until proven innocent. I mean, you really need to be skeptical and listen. Two, let's talk about the listening part. They love their businesses. They love the mission they're on. They want to tell everybody about it. So they spend a lot of time during the interview talking about, you know, we're really into taking care of customers, and this is, and, and then they, are you into taking care? Oh yeah, perfect. He's into taking care of customers, and they kind of feed half the answers to the applicant. And lastly, entrepreneurs have 20 other things they're supposed to be doing. So it's very easy to rationalize, oh yeah, he'll be great and just want to be done with it. The reality is probably only 10% of the people you interview are going to be great employees. And that takes time to, to, to sort through those, those 10 people or 5 people, whatever it takes to get to, to the right one. But three of them are nightmare employees. I mean, think about it. The pool of applicants is filled with nightmare employees because they keep losing their job. I mean, so, so three of them are nightmare employees. Three of them are just mediocre. I'm not looking for mediocre employees. And three of them might be great employees, but just not for you. They're, they're, not, they're not right for your industry. They're not right for your location. They're not right for your personality, which means you really have to go into it with the idea that only one out of 10 are gonna be a, a, the, the great hire. So what was the big change that improved things at your place? How did you go from... Um, my revelation was 15 years ago or so, I interviewed a woman who was running a lighting showroom and she had five employees. And I said to her, how many people did you have to hire to get to these five good employees? She said five. And I, I laughed. I said, either you have much lower standards than I have or you're some kind of hiring goddess. And I hired her. She was a hiring goddess. Um, she left about... Ten years ago, she moved to Oregon, and I still have most of the people she hired. She was way better at it than I was. I would interview with her, and the person would leave, and she'd turn to me and say, hey, what do you think? I, yeah, they seem pretty good. Are you out of your mind? And she would give me ten reasons why they were, and she was right. I mean, I realized there are some people that are much better at interviewing than others. And from my experience and the experience of others, I'll blame this on someone else that, that said this, he said women are better at interviewing. Guys are so used to BSing them, each other, they don't even know they're doing it anymore. <laughs> That, that, that I, th I used to have, I'd have the holiday party and my wife would come by and she'd meet my new production manager. I'm not exaggerating. I went through like 10 production managers over a two year period because I just didn't get it. And she'd say, you really think that guy's gonna work out? And then what would I say is the guy? Anyone got a clue? Well, why don't you just take over the company? You seem to know better than I do. You met him for five minutes and already you figured out he's not gonna work out. She was right. <laughs> she was right every single one of those times. I think there are some people that are innately better at interviewing, and it would be good for the business owner to recognize that, if that's the case, and have them do the first interview. So I'm not the first interview anymore, I'm, and, and I've gotten better at it. My, my hiring percentage used to probably be 40% would work out. Now, if I did it on my own, I probably got it up to 70. But there are people that got it to 90, and you should find those people. You can hire those people. There are people that do it for a living that you can hire out. You have to make a good hire there, too, though. Exactly. You have to find someone that, you know, you, that has good recommendations from someone else. And, but there are people that are very good at hiring.